Hi, I'm Jacqueline. Thank you for coming to my channel. And today I'm starting off with a bare face so I can do a get ready with me and answer some social work questions. If you've never seen a video on my channel before, I do social work and lifestyle videos. And I am currently a master's of social work student at my school. I graduated with my BSW back in May. So today, since I've gotten some followers since my last get ready with me where I answered some questions about myself. Um, I wanted to do another one kind of like it. So I figured we could just get started doing my makeup and um, I have a few questions that I came up with that I thought would be interesting to answer in this video. So I'm just going to do like a light layer of makeup um, today. I'm going to film another video after this. Usually in the summer anyways, I like to go lighter with my makeup. So I think the first question I will answer is why did I choose social work? My answer for this is that I chose social work um, because obviously the classic answer to help people, um, which I really wanted to do, but um, I also did it because I just love everything that you can do with social work. I really like standing up for what I believe in. Um, I really want to use like advocate skills and always enhance my advocate skills so I can help people who don't have a voice or, you know, are afraid to use their voice. So I really like that social work is just like a career where you help people with so many different things and help people live a better life, live their best life, accomplish their dreams. I also just really like engaging with people. So um, getting to know people and especially hearing people's stories that I have not experienced myself and seeing like their view and their perspective. Um, I just really enjoy like getting to know people and listening to their stories. So yeah, I, I chose social work. Um, because I really felt like I um, identified with the, the career path. I wanted to more help them like emotionally and just kind of uh, help them in, yeah, like an emotional support way. So yeah, I mean, I think like overall, I just love that you can do so many different things with social work. There's a lot of paths to go down and I feel like it's just a really rewarding job overall. So in regards to what kind of social work I want to get into, that is um, definitely a hard question because I've only been graduated since May and it's currently August um, and I've only ever worked in the mental health field in a mental health um, agency. So although I really love that population and I still do like working in the mental health field. Um, I have yet to experience so many things. So I'm really excited to just experience different paths you can go down with social work. For my fall MSW program coming up, I will be in a high school. So I will be a school social worker and I'm really excited about that. Not like a job or anything. It, it is going to be an internship. So um, I'll definitely have like that perspective as a student working in a school. I think my main population I'd like to work with right now at least would be um, adults, young adults. That would be probably like the main population I would be interested in working with right now. So that I'm kind of more sure about like the population wise more than like the job outlook, um, which I think is actually really important for a social work student to know because that's, that's really helpful in what kind of um, internship or job you want to be looking for is what population you want to work with but I'm always up for like experiencing something new and kind of just like whatever I come across um, and I can get experience in I would more be more than happy to take that because the more experience the better. The next thing I'd like to talk about is some tips on personal statements. Um, a personal statement is usually what you'll have to write to get into a um, social work program. I had to do it for both my bachelor's and my master's program is write a personal statement. I believe both were um, definitely the master's, but I'm pretty sure the bachelor's was two, uh, six to eight pages. So um, that's a pretty good amount of, of pages to write about, you know, yourself. So usually a personal statement has questions to go along with it. So they give you like a layout or an outline of what they want you to write about. Um, for example, some of the questions that I had on my master's level one is what experiences up until this point led you to wanting to be a social worker? Um, what social justice issues are you interested in? That will help them identify 
you know, why you should be in the program, that type of thing. And some tips that I would have when writing your personal statement is to really just be honest with your story and yourself. And I think that if you um, have like a good, like a, like a personal story that you feel comfortable adding in there, it will really be helpful in just bringing out the passion, like that real raw emotion attached to why you're you know in social work or what social justice issues are you passionate about i think if you write about something that is true to you the emotion will really come out definitely don't write it all in one go i would say i'd say you know take some breaks um reread it um also at my school we had a person who was the writing who was a writing coach in the social work building which was really helpful so i had her read my paper and get her input um so if you have like any type of writing center or writing coach on your school campus at all um i would highly recommend to take advantage of those services because usually at least with my school it was free it just comes with your tuition so definitely if you have to write a personal statement i would suggest doing that <laughs> I think I would like to do a whole um, video on how to balance um, school and work and personal life but just some like general tips I would say is to definitely plan out your weeks as much as possible. I would say that a planner has helped me significantly because I was able to put my classes in um, automatically when I got my schedule I was able to put like my classes and kind of work around that schedule opposed to if i didn't have a planner i just wouldn't know kind of what my schedule looked like and it would be harder to balance things i think it's really important to see your friends and your family um just people that you love and make time for that and make time for yourself too because i know i talk about the importance of self-care in a lot of my videos but i really do think it's important to make sure that your mental state is taken care of i think that you should most definitely um, have a social life and you know not overwork yourself too much because then I think that's how kind of like the quality of your work will go down if you know you're stressed out and you have all this stuff to do so even if it's like one day like, like I usually have Sundays to uh, do any errands laundry uh, catch up on stuff my shows even I guess before the weekend before the week starts um, and it really sets me up for a good week when I feel prepared. Another question I wanted to answer was my go-to methods of practice in the field. So if you have not started your BSW program yet, you'll most likely learn um, methods, models of practice, that type of thing uh, for working with clients. Really, really resonated with um, the problem solving method for one. And that's basically teaching your clients how to do things rather than um, just doing it for them, I guess I would say. I also really resonate with um, the person-centered approach. And I also like to use the strengths based perspective, which is basically using um, or taking advantage of the client's strengths and showing them their strengths rather than their problems to solve the issue going on. I always try to accentuate the, the client's strengths and show them that their strengths can be really helpful in their um, quality of life. Also wanted to just give like an overall tip and that would be that when you're in school to save like work that you found interesting, whether that be like books that you read that were really helpful or papers that um, teachers passed out, um, I saved a lot of the stuff that I felt I could use in the future and I'm really glad I did. I didn't just like throw everything away after class. I saved like some really good PowerPoints that one of my professors made and uh, it was just really helpful in the long run, especially to go back if you, you know, forgot something that was mentioned in class and you find that it would probably help you in the field. Saving that stuff from school would be really helpful. I'm putting a little bit of um, Candy K by Kylie Cosmetics on my lips. So I hope this video helped and if anyone has any more questions, I'd be 
happy to answer them as best as I can in the comments. Also wanted the feedback from my subscribers that I've had that I have um, if I should make an Instagram account that goes along with this YouTube channel because I have been thinking about it and um, I think that would be really cool to uh, make an account that went with this YouTube channel and post some stuff in kind of like more real time type of thing. So um, also please comment below if you would find that helpful if I made an Instagram account. And thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.